Canada's finance minister, Chrystia Freeland, presented the 2024 federal budget in the House of Commons. This budget introduces important changes for crypto traders, specifically through Canada's new approach to crypto regulation and a significant increase in the capital gain tax. So let's explore these key updates and analyze their impact on Canadians crypto traders. Let's talk about Canada's new approach to crypto regulation. In response to the rising financial risks associated with crypto assets, Canada is prioritizing the prevention of tax evasion within the rapidly growing crypto market. Just as crypto assets pose financial risks to middle-class Canadians, the rapid growth of crypto asset markets poses significant risks of tax evasion, said the budget. What do these changes mean for Canadian crypto traders? Currently, only transactions that exceed $10,000 are reported to the CRA, but these new changes will take effect in 2027. Crypto exchanges, brokers, merchants, ATMs will need to adhere to the new reporting standards to stay compliant. It means that crypto traders can no longer hide any crypto transaction from tax people because crypto exchanges will report them to the CRA. Every year, they will report identifying information about their customers. This information will include your name, date of birth, jurisdiction, and social insurance numbers. Along with this information, the exchanges will report the total value of your crypto transactions to the CRA. These transactions include crypto-to-crypto -to -crypto and fiat-to-crypto transactions. Plus, any purchase you make for goods and services paid by crypto will be reported to the CRA. If the value of the transaction exceeds $50,000, it means if you do not report all your taxable crypto transactions to the CRA, the CRA will know about it and you could face fines or to be prosecuted for tax evasion. You can watch my detailed video about crypto taxation in Canada over here. In my opinion, this part of the budget doesn't really affect crypto traders much. As of right now, many centralized crypto exchanges are already having all the identifying information about you. And if needed and requested by CRA, I'm pretty much sure they can share your information. Regulations are getting tougher and tougher in Canada each year. So no surprise here. The second part in the budget has more impact for Canadian crypto traders, in my opinion, which is a capital gain tax increase up to two-thirds. Currently, only 50% of capital gains are subject to taxation. But the new budget proposes to increase the inclusion rate from one-half to two-thirds on capital gains exceeding $250,000 for individuals. Basically, if your gains are over $250,000, 66.7% will be taxable from that amount. So how does the change affect crypto traders? Well, cryptocurrency in Canada is treated as capital gains. Might be easier to show on the example. If you bought Bitcoin at $10,000 but sold it for $500,000, your profit is $490,000. With the new changes, 50% of the first $250,000 is taxable and 66.67% of the remaining $240,000 is taxable. Therefore, you will pay tax on $125,000 and $160,000 for a total of $200,000. 85,000. This new rate will take effect for any realized capital gains on or after June 25th this year. In my personal opinion, it's definitely not a good move for Canada for so many reasons, but it is what it is. Let me know what you think about these budget things in the comments. You can also check out my full article on allcryptocanada.ca where I shared more details. The goal of this video is to quickly recap what happened. By the way, if you're from Canada, feel free to subscribe to the channel where we cover all the crypto tools and crypto news related to Canadian market. If you want to follow all news and never miss crypto news that are related to Canadian market, feel free to subscribe to our channel on Telegram or to email newsletter, whatever works best for you. And if you love it, like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It will help our channel to grow crypto awareness for Canadian people. So who knows, the more people we got, the faster they cancel this new tax on capital gains. And see you in the next video.